Hello, my friends, hello, and welcome once again to the adventurous Vaughn Manor, where Roger and I are here today to talk to you about some random adventure -y things going on here on this channel. I know, it's just bun a bunch of epic adventure that we'll be talking about today on the channel. Not really all that adventurous, really, but what do you do? So, the first thing we're going to be talking about here in our video of random things is, well, we're going to be talking about, real quick, Roger's Cheap Old Book Club. Roger's Cheap Old Book Club. The first uh, show about Roger's Cheap Old Book Club from this channel will be premiering tomorrow. Tomorrow is the official launch of Roger's Cheap Old Book Club for February. I know it's still January, but on Wednesday we have to talk about comic books, so tomorrow is the official premiere for Roger's Cheap Old Book Club for February. Tune in, tune in for that thrilling episode. But that brings us to the first thing that we're going to talk about here today, really, which is how we're going to talk about Roger's Cheap Old Book Club, which is something we've been mulling over. And Roger and I have decided to go with Discord, which a lot of people are like, eh, Discord, but I decided to go for Discord for the very important reason that it was really easy to set up a Discord. So, I was thinking of different ways that we could talk about the books on the book club. And of course, we could always talk about them in the in the comments down below the videos. That's always an easy way. But for a for more discussion on the books for Roger's Cheap Old Book Club, I felt we needed something else to make it like a real book club where we can actually just talk about our thoughts in real time, more or less. And we were thinking different ways to do it, and one good suggestion was to make a Goodreads group. But I looked into that, and I couldn't figure out how to do a Goodreads group from my phone. I think if I had a desktop computer or a laptop, I could do it. But I couldn't figure it out how to do it from my phone. And I only have a phone and a really cheap tablet. A phone and a really cheap tablet. That's all I've got. I don't have anything else, so so I couldn't figure out how to do it, and that could just because I'm, you know, dumb and don't know a lot about your newfangled 21st century technology. Roger and I, we're pretty old school, but I figured out how to use my phone, so Discord was really easy for that so far. So I have a lonely, empty Discord at the moment. Not much... Not much going on on my Discord at the moment, but it's there, and I've linked it down below. And so I figured we could talk about Roger's Cheap Old Book Club. I've got a little thing in there, place in there to talk about Roger's Cheap Old Book Club. No one's talking about it yet, but it's there, you know, <laughs> to talk about when we do talk about it. And some other things, if you're interested in my dopey old channel, uh, who knows why, but if you are interested in some of the things I talk about here, I will have places on the Discord. It's not all set up yet. It's, like I said, it's a sad, empty place at the moment, my Discord, but we will have places to talk about different things, like vintage science fiction. You know I love the vintage science fiction. This is actually probably going to be the next vintage science fiction book I read. This is Adventures on Other Planets, edited by Donald A. Wolheim who edited a bunch of anthologies, and that is just such a cool cover. Look at that. So this is probably the next book I I'll be reading for my vintage science fiction project. But if you have any kind of interest in vintage science fiction and have pictures and things to share, why, there's a place on my Discord for that. Isn't that exciting? It's, it's a thrill. Also, one of the things I was going to talk about today I just dropped my book. It seems undamaged. So, one of the thing, other things I was going to talk about is 
one of the things Roger and I are going to focus on more on this channel going forward, and that is pulp and pulp adventure and old tiny pulpy stuff, which I've always talked about, but now I'm, you know, because I've always talked about Robert E. Howard, and now I'm doing the Edgar Rice Burroughs Deep Dive, which has been magnificent. But there was a lot of other pulpy stuff that I want to get to, and I have a ton of it, and it is just waiting to be read, either in physical or digital form. Uh, one of the things I've already mentioned is the pulp adventure books that I'll be reading from Doc Savage and The Shadow. These were the two big pulp adventure uh, pulps from the 30s. And I'll be reading The Shadow and a Doc Savage together. I'll, in my, well, along with all the other projects I've got going on, which I've talked about recently. But these weren't the only great pulp adventure characters that were in the pulps. There was also the spider and a bunch of other pulp adventure characters, as well as just some other great pulps like Weird Tales, Black Mask, and so many others. And I've got a, a lot of old pulpy stuff, and so I'm going to focus more on that in the future. Yet, you know, more old stuff. More old stuff. Isn't that exciting? It's very exciting. I know. It's a thrill. And along with that are some roots of pulp, like H. Ryder Haggard, which is kind of pre-pulp really. This is the first actual book that I ever got uh, of H. Ryder Haggard. H. Ryder Haggard who created uh, Alan Quartermain in King Solomon's Mines and there was a whole series on Alan Quartermain that was very popular back in the olden days. And he also created the novel She and the character She. Aisha, she who must be obeyed. I made a video about that. It was amazing. Anyway, so I'm going to be reading more of that old old stuff. This has all of this these old novels in it. And this is very old. It has my old signature from 1989. I've had this book a while. And so, yeah. H. Ryder Haggard and old pulpy adventure stuff. And so on the Discord we have a place to talk about this stuff if you'd like to. And of course, you could always just leave comments. And now, uh, when it comes to comments, as Roger never ceases to point out to me, I'm very late in getting to the comments. I often get to comments days after the video has gone up. I'm trying to improve that. I'm going to try to improve that going forward. I'm trying to keep on top of that stuff, you know? Life is really busy, and it can be hard to keep on top of things. But that is something I'm going to try to keep on top of. And also, I think I'll probably, I, like I said, I haven't done much on the Discord yet, but I, I'll probably have an area for horror also. But I don't yet, I don't think. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Also, when it comes to suggestions, I'm thinking ahead. This is another random thing. See, this is just it, so random, this whole video. Another thing I was thinking of, I was thinking of the future of Roger's Cheap Old Book Club. You know, because we're just going to keep on doing this even after this year. This year, my the calendar is set for Roger's Cheap Old Book Club. We know what we're going to be reading all of this year, but I was thinking about next year. And so I was thinking about some books for the future of Roger's Cheap Old Book Club that we can consider. And I had some thoughts on that. Some thoughts. One book I'm almost, well, I am certain that will probably be happening next year is a book called Of One Blood or The Hidden Self by Pauline E. Hopkins. 
That's a book I wanted to read anyway, and it turns out it's free on Project Gutenberg. Of course, the whole thing with Roger's Cheap Old Book Club, what makes it so cheap is that you can get these books, all the books we talk about, free on Project Gutenberg, because they're all old and therefore cheap, or in this case, free, if you want to download the book from Project Gutenberg for free. It's free. Why wouldn't you? So that's one book that I really want to read. I'm also uh, really interested in a book called The Purple Land by W.H. Hudson. That's a book I've wanted to read for a while now. I actually have a physical copy of that, but you can get a free copy on Project Gutenberg. Book Time with Ryan talked about that book, and so ever since I saw his video on that, I've wanted to read it, so that's probably up for next year. Also, I'm thinking Raphael Sabatini, he who wrote Captain Blood, should, he should show up in Roger's Cheap Old Book Club for next year, but I'm not sure on the book. Should it be Captain Blood or is Captain Blood too common? I don't know that any of his books are actually all that read anymore, so it could be anything from Sabatini. I am interested in your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Also, Algernon Blackwood has to make an appearance in Rogers' Cheap Old Book Club. I'm thinking John Silence, probably, although there is also his first book, The Empty House and Other Ghost Stories. Probably one of those books I, I'm thinking for Rogers' Cheap Old Book Club. And also, this is pretty much a given. The Skylark of Space by E.E. E. Smith and Lee Hawkins. Those, I think, are definites. But, you know, that's still a year away, so there's lots of time. And so I was actually thinking, if you guys have any suggestions about public domain books, books that you can get free on Project Gutenberg that you think would be good for Roger's Cheap Old Book Club, let us know. Let us know. And you can, of course, always let us know in the comments. Or go to our brand new empty Discord and make it less empty. There you go. Wasn't that a thrill? Oh, man. The excitement on this channel is palpable. I guess that's all I have to say for today, actually. Tune in tomorrow for the exciting premiere of Roger's Cheap Old Book Club for February, in which we talk about The Prisoner of Zenda by Anthony Hope, an awesome old-timey adventure book. And I will catch you next time.